Hey there everyone, Vault Dweller again, and welcome back to the arena. Today we are going to be playing a Ludovic Necro Genius Brawl deck. Ludovic is a uh, black blue for a human wizard with power toughness 2-3. And it reads, whenever Ludovic Necro Genius enters the battlefield or attacks, mill a card. Then you can pay X, blue, blue, black, black, to exile X target or X creature cards from your graveyard. Transform Ludovic. X can't be zero. Activate only as a sorcery. So when you do that, it turns into Olog, Ludovic's Hubris, uh, a 4 4 legendary creature zombie. And then as this creature transforms into Olog, Ludovic's Hubris, it becomes a copy of a creature card exiled with it, except its name is Olog. Ludovic's Hubris, it's a 4-4, and it's a legendary blue and black zombie in addition to its other colors and types. Put a number of plus one plus one counters on Olog equal to the number of cards exiled with it. <clears throat> so in this deck, we got many different ways to dump cards into the graveyard so we can get uh, Ludovic transformed into Olog as fast as possible. We've also going with a uh, a little bit of a zombie tribal theme here as well, just for flavor, since you know Ludovic is a necro genius and uh, loves to bring the dead back to life. <clears throat> so let's go ahead, get into some games, see if we can't get a few wins in with Ludovic. <laughs> MSKN is our opponent. They are playing a Catilda Donhart Prime deck, so green, white humans. No blue source. And this is a two land, like a Jawari. Yeah, I think we get rid of the Scab Wrangler and just... Play our... Champion of the Dead. <clears throat> Alright, so we will play the blue. We will... Bring in the Blade Stitched Scab. And the next turn we can play Ludovic. They foretell. We mill a card. Not a creature. Well, we lost a lot of creatures there. Um, <clears throat> it's all right. We got to a feed the swarm. Got a poison to cup as well. So we've got still just the one creature in the in the graveyard. <clears throat> I 
I don't want to crawl from the cellar, but we do have a... Nice dragon. Okay, so that's a little interesting. I mean, we've got <clears throat> a crippling fear that we could do. It's gonna get everything but the cat. I mean. Oh, and we got the win. We got the win after transforming Ludovic. Nice. It was great to actually transform that card and win with it. All right, let's get into another game and see if we can... Uh, get another win. That would be nice. Vitox is playing a Velamachus Lorehold. Guess we can get and we mold the meat hook massacre. <clears throat> so we're probably going to lose a bunch of creatures. This deck's probably. A lot about Could have seen that one coming. Another removal spell coming, I can feel it. It's alright, we got one for their Velamachus.
We're just not gonna play a spell. We're just gonna wait for that Velomachus to come out. Kill it right off the bat. Actually, we'll just play our dragon. Which, in the long run, is just helping Ludovic out. Alright, we're gonna deal with Velomachus. Next turn. It'd be nice if we had a removal for it. Next turn, if we're totally losing here, yeah, let's go on. Good game, pass on. I'm not gonna play Bellamacus Lorehold. If we would have got a removal there, that'd been not too bad. You gotta kind of get Velomachus off the board before it has a chance to swing. Because then just getting to, getting to cast this spell for free is very strong. Same with extra turn. Extra turns and playing spells for free. Uh, if you can manage to get those a lot of the time, you're going to win the game. <clears throat> I think it's a I think it's a mechanic that Wizards needs to print a little bit less, but it seems like we can get one or two of them in about every set anymore. Because looking at the spoilers for Crimson Vow, there's one, another card in there that gives you extra turns, so... It is what it is. We'll just move on to the next game and uh, see if we can't get another win with Ludovic. At least we got to flip it again. It's not very often you get a, a flip it from my experience. Real Frog Fritter is playing Werewolf's Tobalar.
to our opponent. I know they're there. I seen them look at their werewolf. I guess they could have got disconnected or <laughs> little back, get up there, man. Well, we might just win, get a second win with Ludovic just from inactive opponent. Yay! Second win with Ludovic. Just by DQ. Alright, let's see if we can get in one more game here. I'm just zoning out here. All right, let's get back into it. I'm a border collie. Is playing a Sarah the Vipers thing. Cool card. We don't have our removal, so not good. Okay. Not Scoot Swarm.
think we'll just pass, because next turn we have Xanathar mana. Not gonna block because they have death touch from Sarah. Okay, we got to hold back. Let's see, let's block there. Let's block there, let's block there. Oh, that trample, that's right. That was on me. All right, guys, I think we're going to call it there today for this deck, um, Ludovic deck. Uh, interesting deck to play with. Um, need to do a lot of self-mill. So if you like the content that you're seeing, remember to hit the subscribe button. Leave a thumbs up and a comment in the comment section down below. I will leave a copy of the deck list in the video description, and as always, we'll see you again real soon.